What's going on? It's your boy Will Mike Craven. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Uh, just want to do a real quick one. Uh, but there's been a lot of talk about uh, Kevin Samuels. Seeing it all on my uh, timeline, uh, on Facebook, uh, Instagram. Um, <laughs> it's amazing to me how this man has died. And uh, well, it's not even amazing. It, it it's to be expected to be perfectly honest um but the fact that this man has died and, and a lot of people have taken this opportunity to uh throw shade sh show their hatred and and ignorance at the same time uh is to be expected uh <laughs> I, I see it from a lot of of, of guys and I see, as far as the ignorance and a, a lot of the disdain and hatred coming from a lot of women and the fact of the matter is is I seen like about 10 of his uh, uh, videos and they all pretty much had the same uh, stance foundation uh, high value men uh, what would classify a woman to be uh, to get a high, high value man and for some reason <laughs> The women who came on this show seem to be delusional. But what's so f sad and funny to me is the fact that people are discrediting what he said. And people are discrediting because he had uh, two, he went through a divorce twice. Um, that he has no business telling what women should be able to do. Or, or let alone, basically, his stance is giving them the inside track. So the man tries to give you the inside track and you turn around and tell this say this this man has uh no ability to do what it is that he's he was doing <laughs> okay so who who has the credentials because studies show that 50 percent of marriages in the united states of america fail so if half of the marriages are failing who then can you take the advice from the other half that's 50 because I go on social media all the time and people will say, oh, a lot of y'all all up here in a relationship are married, false flagging, and because you're trying to show that you got this great marriage and behind the scenes is not working. I mean, look at some of these celebrities and a lot of these people come out that you find out that, oh, you thought they were in good shape, but they weren't in good shape. Uh, so to say that someone who's been divorced cannot tell you anything is a farce <laughs> and it's proving your ignorance as well as maturity. Because a child can tell you something. I know this because I have one. And there are certain things that he tell me. I just be like, yeah, can't refute that. <laughs> Even though you know nothing about it in, in, in depth, can't refute the fact that what you're saying is valid. So there, there, this notion that this man could not tell people or help people in the lane that they're in, it, I'm just... I'm just going to say it. You all who sit there are ignorant. You need to learn something. You need to get some fat on your head. I don't care if you don't like it or not. You can, you can dislike me too. I don't really care. The mere fact of the matter is, is that perspectives and opinions are based upon what we see. They are also based upon facts. So our interpretation of facts does not negate what it is we've seen, experienced in life. Everyone doesn't experience the same thing in life. So it's so amazing that people will turn around and want to discredit somebody. But yet at the same time, you'll turn around and say, oh, we're different. Oh, well, that's not me. Or she, she, she that was her. You, you can't, she ain't, gonna, she ain't like me. Or I do. Or that was him. He ain't like me. So all of a sudden now when it comes relationship part, when you want to get with somebody, oh, different actually matters. <laughs> different matters then. But when you're getting some advice and it's some from a perspective that you don't want to receive, then you want to shoot it down. This is, like I said, this is why I say what I say. You need to be capable of identifying who your Pharisee and who your Judases are. Because these modern the Pharisees didn't just start or they wasn't just back then. They, they are still now today. Those same people who find fault in everything because they don't want you to disrupt, disrupt their program. And that's what's wrong with a lot of you people out here. Well, a lot of people in general, a lot of you just don't want to hear the truth, accept the truth, or some form of perspective of the truth, and then you want to turn around and discredit somebody. Come on, man.
get somewhere and sit down. Get somewhere and be quiet and start evaluating and looking and examining your own self. Okay, why don't I like this? Why do I like this? Because it's quite clear that the man was speaking, Kevin Samuels was speaking some form of the truth in his perspective because he had people following. A lot of a lot of people followed Jesus and he had a whole different perspective than his haters, the Pharisees, <laughs> Judas right there in his camp, man. So, man, y'all need to chill out. Be quiet. <laughs> really be quiet. If it if, if if you don't like it, walk away. There's a lot of stuff that I see. I just walk away from it. But the, the, the fact that, oh, and I'm sure somebody's going to say, well, why won't you walk away from this? Because this needs to be said. I'm not finna just, I'm not finna just let this one keep on going. This needs to be said, whether you like it or not. That's on you. I really don't care. Nor will I apologize for it. I'm not. <laughs> so you can come all you want. I'm not, I'm not backpedaling it off of this. You need to, un people, a lot of you people need to understand people's perspectives and from their vantage points of what they've seen is their perspective. And someone else has seen the same thing just like them. We can all go watch a movie like the Avengers or whatever Batman, like the latest Batman that just came out. There were people who liked it and there were people who hated it. And then there were people in between. Everyone saw that same movie, but they all had different perspectives of what they saw. <laughs> so to turn around and say that somebody because they've been divorced or whatever else, that they don't know or they can't speak on such and such and such. First of all, you weren't even in their marriage. That's the first thing. You don't know what actually went on because it takes two people to make something not work. And it takes one person to refuse to actually cooperate in order to make it go bad quick. But we but but, you know, you want to say, oh, because you was married and now you got divorced that. Yeah, you have no no you have nothing to say. Trust and believe, that stuff I won't even say on my marriage, but there was a lot of stuff I already knew. But uh, like I said, it takes two people. <laughs> so, but, but, but like, but there's a lot of people prior to me being married <laughs> that I helped them in their marriage <laughs> and even after I was married. So uh, it, it still don't, it still doesn't negate what people experience. People experiences can help you a lot. My grandmother used to always say, Experience is not always the best teacher. Someone else's experience will help you avoid an experience of your own. But, you know, a lot of people want to go in and experience something for themselves. And then next thing you know, they fail. Then they get around people like me and whoever else that turn around and say, man, I wish I knew that from the beginning. So wait a minute. If you negate somebody's marriage and marriage experience. And then you get in and you don't know something. Now you want somebody to say, I wish somebody had told me that. Make up your dag blasted hypocritical mind. Seriously. Or either get somewhere and sit down. <laughs> because a lot of y'all out here who keep saying this mess, who fit this, what I'm talking about, you're showing that you're a true hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. Get it together. Yes, the man Kevin Samuels is gone. It's unfortunate. But the fact that you, a lot of you all want to tear him down because he wasn't married or he said something in regards to, uh, what was that I seen? I haven't even seen that video, but I keep seeing it everywhere. It's, uh, uh, leftovers. Yeah, leftovers. Like, people are really upset that he said leftovers. Ah, and it was, uh, yeah, I saw it on social media, on Facebook, something about, uh, women over 35, they're leftovers. <laughs> I mean... It's technically true. <laughs> I mean, y'all don't want to hear it, but the fact of the matter is, is that even me as a man, once I hit 35, my body changed. Women hit a certain age, your body changed. You're no longer capable of doing certain things. So all of that fun that you had before you decided to get married, now you, you want to give it to a guy. Well, basically, from, from what I gather, you want to give it to a guy, and now he doesn't get the 100% best part of you, which is why I, this is why I changed my diet. This is why I've become vegan. This is why I get up every morning, even though it sucks and I be tired, <laughs> at 4 o'clock in the morning to stretch, to work out, because I know I'm at a certain age now. So if I do get married again, I don't want to be like some of you rascals out here, guys included, mainly guys, where <laughs> your, your stomach hang over, over your belt buckle. 
and and you look sloppy and all this other stuff. Yes, dudes, you're out here looking sloppy. You you can't even bend over and touch your toes. What the heck you think you're gonna do if if you turn around and get kids? This is this is why I make sure I try to take care of myself very well because I don't move the same way as I did when I was 18. I don't recover the same way as I did when I was 18. But I can make it to the point, make it to the fact that my body does re recuperate well, moves well, and operates well if I take care of myself. But <laughs> I'm 40. So even in hitting 40, I noticed my body doesn't do the same thing as it did even when it was 30. Therefore, I have to take care of myself. So if I'm getting with a woman currently now, it's like, okay, she's not, she, she doesn't get the same guy that she got <laughs> when I was 18, 20, or 30. But can I actually make it my business to be the equivalent in some form or to a high degree? <laughs> but, you know, that, 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 that's, that's neither here nor there. But in regards to... Him saying it to women, uh, you got kids. There's a lot of women now who, who you see them, they 35 and they got two, three kids. And if this guy has none, he's coming into in the gate. <laughs> not even He's not even coming and creating a friend. He's already got one made that doesn't even have his DNA, thought process, thinking patterns, none of that stuff. So now he has to actually think like another man to turn around and raise your kids because your kids are gonna think like their father and you. They're the makeup of you both. I mean, I say this all the time. So the fact that y'all don't understand what he meant by leftovers, and I ain't even see, I ain't even seen the video, and I can get a full fledged understanding of more more than likely what he talked about. And and, and that's not too hard fetched. That's not too far fetched because mere fact that I didn't even know the guy. People was coming up to me in my inbox talking about this dude sound like you. <laughs> this was like what. 2019, I think it was. Yeah, it was 2019 before the pandemic hit. And I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. Y'all, what, what are y'all saying to me that this guy sound like me? They, what, y'all now want to say that I was right? Or, or you saying you now want to listen to me? <laughs> or you don't like him either because he said something similar. He, not, he basically making you be a cattleman. And that's the whole thing, yo. That is the whole thing, which is why I did have appreciate. I wasn't, I wasn't watching them, watching the dude like that. I had no reason to watch the dude. Hit, I yes, I could say I hit the subscribe button just to show my support of the guy because he's saying a message similar to mine that I've been saying for years. I understand. There's no, there was no reason for me to actually go follow him constantly or watch all of his stuff because we talked about similar things. And what is the foundation of it? Accountability. <laughs> I gather that from the videos that I saw. Him. It's basically about being accountable. Can you be accountable, man? And it's the problem we're having today that people don't even want to be accountable. Even in this man's death, you don't even want to be accountable in your own thought process, your own actions, and your bias of this guy. Like, seriously, man. Come on, man. Y'all don't do better because you refuse to do better. That's the harsh reality. You can do better, but you don't want to do better. But, you know... That's neither here nor there. My name is Will Mike Craven. I'm about this joint. <laughs>